What's up, Kaz? Oh, uh, what's up, Kaz? Oh, you know, another day, another dollar. Cool. How's the rustler going? Oh, it's good. It's a bit slow, though. How fast does the rustler go, though? I think I'm only like 30. So can't you do some upgrades to it? You could. But then it wouldn't go as fast as the new Revo. How fast does the new Revo go? 70. 70 miles an hour. Straight out of the box? Yeah. Well, you got to change gearing, bro. Alright. Well, I think we should introduce the new Revo then. Alright, let's get a new Revo. Yeah. Out on the streets and tear it up. Wow. It's a new Revo. Sweet. Hey, big thanks to all you fellas out there that are subscribing and watching the channel. We really appreciate it and uh, look forward to taking you on this journey. Yeah. Cheers. That the brothers on the rise now Woo! Endless celebrations all in my house yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now So guys, for today's runs I will be running on the Traxxas batteries They are 5000 milliamp 3S batteries Dual them, make 6S 50C bursts Alright guys, so we are going out for a drive, we got the E-Revo, and got the camera on the front, it's just a suction cup mount, so I know you can, you can mount it with like the standard GoPro mounts, but um, I figured I'd just try using a suction cup mount, see if that works, because with with like the GoPro mounts, you gotta stick it to the car. So what we're gonna do today, just gonna do some driving around this paddock. This, the GoPro on the car is gonna get thrashed around. It is, it is very bumpy. Um, so you just take it, oh, GoPro is off. So, not cracking or nothing, um, still recording, I think the suction cup just came off. Alright, let's try this again. Let's go flat out. Oof. That's one problem though. If we do end up landing upside down, GoPro is going to get it. That, oh, like I said, GoPro is going to get it. And we just landed upside down. So hopefully we did not break our suction cup because I really like that thing. That thing's quite cool. Oh, let's see how it's well, still good. I 
This car has just got a ridiculous amount of power. Wow. GoPro's down again. Might just have to not do the FPV footage. Yeah, this thing though. Look at those front tires ballooning, man. But we, what we can do, look at that steering. We can try to move our GoPro, put it so it's facing the rear. All right. Let's get some more footage. Wow. Oh, oh, and he goes for a tumble. Lance. GoPro though is flopping around. So that's not good news. Alright guys, so on second thought, we're actually not going to uh, have the GoPro on the car because, yeah, just as I was doing some stuff, the suction mount actually fell off the top of the car and I tried pulling it off and after a couple pulls, I was able to pull it off the body. So then I'm, I'm not too confident that it'll actually stay on the car at close to 50 miles an hour with the weight of GoPro before it did not have the weight of a GoPro so now it will so it'll be a lot lot heavier so I just don't want to risk it therefore keep this GoPro in good condition therefore it doesn't go skidding off across the road at 50 miles an hour but guys let's just show a little bit of what this car can I, can I do? Oh, that it was perfect. And that is how it is done. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try this again. A little bit of throttle. Man, could have gone for a double there. That, w that wasn't too fast, that was 30, 40 miles an hour. And look at that speed. We, I will set up the tripod in a minute. I'll get a couple warm up laps in before I actually try to bring the car around right here. Cause as you can see, that wasn't full speed at all, but going about right here, that'll cut your toes off. Wow, you guys can see I'm turning very, very hard just to get so close and yeah, it almost flipped over. Yeah, this is why I actually did buy, whoa, those year racing fans. So I would highly recommend some, oof some like motor cooling fans if you are into like speed runs or just in general because my dad and i we go bashing a lot as you've seen him in this 
you may have seen him in this channel yet I'm not sure um, but the the temps on the motors just go through the roof um, but some fans they they help a lot really oh that was a hard hard landing This thing just wheelies too easily. I honestly look at the throttle. I mean, it's about full throttle, but. It's pretty easy to get it to lift up. I mean. See how long I can hold a wheelie for you guys. Oof. The only problem doing a wheelie. You have no steering, and you are pretty fast. Let's back it up a bit. Oof. This thing's just ridiculously fast. I mean, it high tails it, that's for sure. We did also bring with ourselves the temp gun, um, just to check the temperatures, uh, supposedly, don't know if this is true or not, but I was told that your engine temps they should not um, be hotter than 150. And if you go with, this is with an electric motor too, by the way, guys. Uh, 149, that is pretty darn hot. So we're going to leave it sit for a while. I'm going to set up a tripod and get you guys back on. Alright, so it's been a little bit. Um, it's cooled down now. It's temps are around 120. Yeah, so we're going to attempt to do some high speed flybys. today's video we introduced the brand new e revo 2.0 had some great fun bashing and overall just a great time but that is not the end of this video because there will be a part two coming out as well maybe even a part three i don't know and um yeah until then make sure to like subscribe and comment down below what you want to see done with the Erevo or the Rustler 4x4. Um, but until then, peace out, cuz.